This is a whole felony right here. Dude, if this is your formula, it's gonna be crazy. Let's go, baby! Definitely a top to an ammo crate. We just got a record player. Is that a piece of a cannon? Kill somebody and cut them up in pieces. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. I'm sorry I missed an upload. It has just been so hot. I have not been able to go out magnet fishing. The feels like temperature has been upward. The highest I've seen it was 115 degrees it felt like outside. There was no way I was gonna be able to go out magnet fishing. I'm originally from Wisconsin. This, I, I can't do hot weather. Once it gets about like 80, I'm out. We got a little break in the weather luckily today. It's overcast. It only feels like 95 right now. So I, I can I can work with that. Anyways, we are back at a spot where we found a bunch of stuff. There is a full four wheeler at this spot that we are unable to get up because we're trying to figure out who owns this boat ramp right there, right next to the bridge. There's also a lot of stuff here to be found. So we're gonna get into it and it's actually Emmy's first day back magnet fishing since she broke her nose and had to have her surgery so she's with us today we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it and hopefully we can find some good stuff like we found last time I know I didn't really hit this side too much at all so I'm definitely gonna hit that up a lot today don't forget to leave a like let's get right into the video I am excited to get back into it man it feels it's only been a couple days but it feels like it's been forever since I've been able to go out magnet fishing. I wanted to go out, but I just was unable to. But we'll take the first throw. We'll start over here. Oh man, I already see a bunch of turtles. Ooh, there's a pipe stinking out of the water. I missed that last time. Oh man, we're starting out with something big. Holy crap, it's coming up a little bit. Oh man. All right, well first throw, I hooked into something big and it spewed up a little bit of oil. All right, well that's a good sign. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, it's like a frame. It's like a piece of a car frame. The very first throw. Oh my gosh. This thing's freaking heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude. No. Dude, this thing is huge. This is gonna be freaking heavy to get up. This is at least 50 pounds right here, at least. This is why it is important to have a claw. If you guys are interested in getting into magnet fishing, go check out battlemagnets.us. The link's down in the description. There we go. No, you're pulling the right one. You're pulling the right one. Oh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Woo, there we go. Dang, man. Well, that was one heck of a first throw right there. I, th I don't know if this is a piece of a car frame anymore. I think this might be a piece of the bridge. I got lucky that I clicked onto that for my first thing. Wow. Dude, this thing weighs so much. I don't know exactly what it is, but either a piece of a car frame or a piece of the bridge. Look how thick that metal is. Hopefully that's a sign of how the day is gonna start. <laughs> All right, let's keep on throwing. I'm looking at it. It might be part of a gate for like a, like a cattle gate or something. I don't know though. We're just gonna keep on throwing. See if we can get some more pieces of that thing. But I would be perfectly fine finding a couple smaller things before I find another big thing like that. Just so I can like catch my breath. Emmy's hooked onto something on her first throw too. I got something all the way out there. It's coming in. It looks like a piece of a railroad, almost. Oh, well that would make sense. I think there's a railroad bridge out there. This looks like a railroad tie to me. I think, but it's got like three inches of mud. Here, let's get all, get all the mud off. Well, got a railroad tie. Dang, that thing was on there good. I'll whip that out there. Well, we're two for two. <laughs> on the magnificent throws, Emmy's got something big. It's a mailbox. I thought it was looked weird. Look at that. Ah, I knew it looked weird. We got a, she's got a mailbox. You got it? Woo! Well, we got a mailbox on that throw. Fun fact. It's actually a federal crime to destroy mailboxes. Bro, oh, this is a whole felony right here. I don't think they got any mail. They're sending they got... something out though. Well, Emmy's got a mailbox on that throw. <laughs> All right guys, so we're actually about to call the police for this mailbox that we just found. I'm just kidding. It is a felony though. <laughs> it is a felony to destroy a mailbox. There's something just as big in that same exact spot. I pulled up that either piece of the bridge or piece of a car. There's something big down there. It is unbelievably humid outside right now. If the sun was out, it would be disgustingly hot it already pretty much is he's like maybe i got something oh yeah oh i think i just confirmed what it is i think that it is 100 percent a car frame looky there we got a little seat belt <laughs> yeah that's probably a frame to a car or a side by side yep we got a little piece of a seat belt right there it says press 
The button even still works, man. <sighs> All right, well, we'll put that in the bucket. That's like the first small thing we found today. Probably an entire chopped up car down there. Also, I forgot to mention that we completely relocated areas in between the last video and now. So we are in a new area, so we're gonna be hitting a lot more spots. I know this spot looks familiar to y'all, but it was like two hours away from where we were staying before. I got something on here, it's coming up. I think it's a piece of rebar. Oh, dude, we got a little walking cane for a little person. Oh, dude. <laughs> Look at that. We got a little person's walking cane. That's a nice cane right there, dude. That's a nice cane. Dude, there's a nice pile of stuff right here. I got something again. What the heck is this? <gasps> oh, dude, I think I know what this is. I think this is the top of an ammo crate. Wait, I don't want to jump to conclusions here. No, dude, that's definitely a top to an ammo crate. Oh man. Oh, it says something right there. No, there's a picture of whatever it is. It's something. I don't, <laughs> well, of course it's something. Oh, it's like a jackhammer. This is a piece of a jackhammer, man. Look at that, man. It's a, I think it's a piece of a jackhammer. Look at that, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. Looks like it hooks up to something, screws in, and it's like a jackhammer. Man, well, I thought it was a piece of an ammo crate, but that's still pretty cool, man. Got a piece of a jackhammer. I wonder if the jackhammer's down there too. Oh, that guy's got a winch. Oh, no way. This would be awesome. We just got here. We've been here for probably like 15 minutes and we've already pulled up all this junk. There's a four-wheeler right there too. <laughs> I'm trying to get it up. I can't. Do you happen to know who owns that boat ramp right there? No way. Yeah, I found it last time I was here. Yeah, I, I can get it up. I just need to use my car in that boat ramp, but I saw it was private property. I didn't know who owned it. Is that the one that you think's missing? I don't know how long, I wonder when was the last time you found it? Like a week ago. Mine have been gone since March. Really? All right, we might get this for you. You got a key? I'll open the gate. You got a key? Let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect timing. We're gonna be able to get this four-wheeler up. So this guy actually has a key to that gate. First things first, let's figure out how many ropes we need. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need two ropes. I'm about to show y'all the sheer power of Battle Magnet's rope right now. We're about to combine two of these bad babies and pull this four-wheeler out of the water. If you don't know a knot, tie a lot. Oh my gosh, son, go away. It just got like 30 degrees warmer because that sun came out. Oh, I might've actually got that in the perfect spot. We got it hooked good. Now we come over here. Let's do this. Ah, right, man, just slowly. Oh, it's moving now. We got out the mud. If we got to retie, we can retie too. It's coming, dude. <laughs> Let's go, baby. All right, man, we can retie. Let's go, man. We gonna get this thing, dude. Dude, if this is your four-wheeler, it's gonna be crazy. I, I hope this is your four-wheeler so you get your questions answered. How much? 7,000, holy cow. All right, let's try it. Once you get that momentum, just keep on going. Oh yeah, it just went over a log, I saw it. All right, there it is. Hey, she's coming, there it is. Woo, let's go, baby. <laughs> they took it for every piece it was worth. Yeah, so that's not yours? Oh, oh man, well it's a completely different one. I guess four-wheeler thefts are bigger around here, huh? Dude, that sucker's big. Look how big that thing is, dude. Got a serial number on it somewhere. Probably. 55TG2, whatever that is. Oh man, well we got it, dude. I really appreciate the help. Pull the handlebars are finna break. Oh yeah. The wires was holding it. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh, man, that was close. Dude, they really did break. They did break off. Yep. Wow, I'm not gonna lie. That went way more smooth than I was I planning it to be. Is this a high crime area? Oh God, that's all it is. Man. Really? Man, this man's got everything. He's got the key to the gate. He's got the sheriff's number. We don't gotta do nothing but pull it off. I'm like lightheaded now, that sun came out. It's, it's brutal, dude. Oh yeah, man, half the time they don't even, they don't even want nothing. I don't even call anymore when I find stuff. Hey, I'll tell him what you gonna find in there, dude. So he's gonna come take a look at it? Yeah, he said he'd be down. Uh, I don't, we'll just let it here until he gets here then, I guess. Well, you go ahead and load it up. The guy who owns this land, his brother is a sheriff here. And that guy just called him, asked if he wanted to come check it out. And I guess he does. So I guess there's actually a cop on the way to come look and see if he knows anybody who may have owned this at one point i guess this, this area is like very small town so they should know which is actually kind of interesting it's funny we thought it was this guy's four-wheeler and it turned out to be a completely different other four-wheeler when you get the damn money <laughs> knock your little winch up there dude i've been needing one man <laughs> okay i wish blake was here he's supposed to be here too oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
I got it, man. I got it, man. It's hard for your money. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> How are you doing? You got a come along any damn time. I do have a come along actually. Where? In my car. Well, get this damn thing out. Hell without this. Let's first. see. I want to see if I can get it first. Dig it in the board. That's what it is. That's oh. our muscle man strength right there. They gonna pull up a dead body or two. Oh, shit. No, no I'm, I'm out. I'm not, I've never found one of those. Hey, I don't want we one. We had one. He'll tear you. That's about it. what was it, a year or two really? ago? Old boy killed somebody and cut them up in pieces and oh put it in a God. barrel. They was floating down a bar down there. They oh. went down there to catch Damn, man. <laughs> barrels, that's a, I know that's a Louisiana thing. Y'all put, or I say y'all, but uh, <laughs> the crackheads down here put bodies in barrels. We, we found anywhere from b bombs. We've gotten jet skis. I mean, four wheelers, dirt bikes. I got two Harleys. You've all over the country done that. I got everything I've ever found documented They've on YouTube. Been on the way to Florida. And like I said, if y'all ever need help with anything, like we're more, we're all. Get your number. Yeah, yeah, man. Right. I appreciate y'all actually being respectful. Yeah, them cops just hated us over there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you run across one of them gators down there, just slap them in the snout. You'd be all right. <laughs> I got you, man. All right, have a good day, man. A huge shout out to Terry, man. Yeah. <laughs> For real, there's no way we would have been able to get this thing up. Just what? Only 10 people in the entire world have a key to this gate, and we just happened to talk to the right guy. When I tell y'all it's hot, it is freaking hot, man. It feels like 107 degrees outside. And the sun came out, so it was even worse. I guess let's take a throw where the four-wheeler used to be. Oh, that breeze feels so freaking good. Oh, man, I forgot about the porcupines. No, this is happening to me. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go back over here. I forgot all about the little porcupines that were over here. This is a mix of nails and barbed wire fence. Well, we are still on the search for the missing four-wheeler. If there's another one down there, at least we know we can use the boat ramp to get it up. There we go. I got something all the way to the left over there, too. Oh, mine's white. All right, me and Emmy are doubled up right now. All right, there we go. What do I got here? There we go. All right, it says, warning void if seal is broken. Oh man, I don't know what has happened, but I think it is voided. That seal looks open. Throw it in our pile over there. Emmy's got herself a little tire rim. All right, that's good weight right there. <laughs> We're still finding stuff like crazy. Heck yeah, man, let's keep on chucking. There we go, I got something that's pretty good weight. I had to pull it out of the mud though. It got caught on that stupid pipe. Okay, I got it. It's like some sort of box, it looks like. Man, I got lucky that thing was still on there. Oh, I don't know what it is. Holy cow, that thing is on there good. And what is it? I don't know what it is, but it is going to have a forever home at the scrapyard. Cool. All right, let's keep on throwing. There's a nice little pile of stuff right in between me and Emmy here. We both just keep pulling pieces from it. Here we go. I got something again. It looks like a, some sort of motor. I think we got an electric motor. I'm pretty sure we got an electric motor right here of some sort. It's like a fan motor, kind of. All right. Well, we'll throw it in the bucket as well, man. We got, it's got like an infinite magnet fishing hole right, right in between me and Emmy here. Here we go. I got something. What is this? All right, come here. It's like, I have no idea what this thing is. It looks like a record player. A record player? Oh, it is. Yo, we just got a record player. Oh, cool. Bryce just got a record player. Oh my player. gosh. Yeah, that thing's cool. Wait, I think it is. Here, let me take a look at it. It looks like an old record player That's right here. Or... Uh, maybe, I don't know. Well, this thing is all like. I'm going with a record player. I don't know. It I could be. be this arm, it does make it look like some sort of record player there. I don't know. We could be wrong, but I don't know. Maybe it's a record player. Maybe it's not. It's All right. We'll throw that over there. Either way, it's junk now. <laughs> it's still a really cool find, though. Let's keep on going, man. You think they got the baby on vinyl? I'm shocked out of everything I've heard from Terry and that cop who came by earlier that we have not pulled out a gun. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's a little breeze and it is life-saving right now. Maybe this is Mother Nature apologizing, or <laughs> maybe this is Mother Nature thanking me for getting that four-wheeler out. What do we got here? Oh, I got a big old square. It looks like another piece of that frame. Mm, dang, dude, this thing is heavy. Ooh, yeah, we got another piece of that frame. Get off my magnet. Ha! more pieces of that frame right there i'm just glad it came up in a much smaller chunk <laughs> than it did before 
bam. Well, that was a little bit more to the right than I've been throwing. So I guess I'm gonna throw to my right once again, see if there's some more stuff out there. There's a big tractor coming. Look at that, man, that's a big old tractor. I wanna find that in the river. We got a little tiny something here. It doesn't look like anything too crazy though. Yeah, just a little piece of junk. I'm actually gonna go try this side, take a couple throws. <laughs> I literally, that was like my game plan was to hit this side a lot today. Well, I felt a couple little things there. I don't know if they were sticks or what, but I got just a couple little crusty cornflakes on there. So that leads me to believe that it was something and not a stick. You got something shiny on here. What is it? Oh, it's a bullet. There we go. Look at that, just a little, I think it's called the primer. That is a fresh nine millimeter bullet right there. All right, we'll take it. I want the gun though. I want what shoots it. All right, I finally got something. All right, I got a couple things. Let's go, baby, I got some tools. There we go. Bam, we got a little wrench and a little pair of pliers and a piece of the bridge. Throw it over there. Heck yeah, man. Someone got mad, someone's wife got mad and threw all their tools in the river. If you can't fix our relationship, I'm not gonna let you fix anything else. That's how I imagine that conversation went. What is it, is it like claw worthy? It's like a shelf. That's big. Oh, oh my, my God. gosh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, that is big. I think that's for like to feed cows or I don't know, something. You also got a little motor on there. Dang, man, that thing's freaking huge. It feels like I just ran a marathon. Whoa. Pulling this thing up in 110 degrees. Let's go, though. Emmy's got something nice. Good Thanks job. That's a good fine back right there. That's. That thing's pretty heavy too, it's solid, it's not hollow. All right, man, this spot has actually turned out to be way better than I could have imagined. All right, let's see if we can get some of these divorce man's tools. That was a big snap right there. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> we got a big pipe. It literally went inside the pipe. <laughs> the magnet just like ring the pipe. Dude, I should be a basketball player. No, actually I shouldn't because I'm a horrific shot. Is that a piece of a cannon? No, I'm just kidding. It's definitely a pipe. Oh man, I got myself another wrench. The cool part about finding tools is like, when you find something like this, if you really wanted to, you could totally clean that up and use it or resell it or whatever you want. Oh, it's actually a craftsman. Yeah, so that's actually a craftsman. If I wanted to, I could take that back and they'll replace it. Craftsman has like a, I think it's an unlimited lifetime warranty. From what I've heard. Oh man, I feel, I'm feeling a lot of stuff right here too, dude. This spot is far from empty. Oh, what is that thing? All right, it's coming up. I don't know what that is. That's weird looking. Whoa, oh, it's a screwdriver. All right, there's a couple different things in here. Ugh, that thing just, ugh, nasty. Well, we'll throw that over there. I saw this and a little, oh, that's not a screwdriver. I have no idea what the heck that is actually. That is a weird screwdriver. It's like got a socket on it almost. All right, we'll throw that over there in the pile. And we got like a wheel. That's not a wheel. And a socket as well. There we go, man. This side's starting to look just as good as the other side. I've only taken like four throws here and I already got a massive pile. Here we go. We got something coming. It's a little piece of rebar. It wouldn't be a damn magnificent without a little rebar. This is exactly why we move spots right here though, man. Look at how much more stuff we're finding. So good, man. I'm hoping this whole area is gonna be like this because there's so many bridges around here. All right, there we go. We got yet another screwdriver. I think it's a flathead. Oh yeah, man. I got a little flathead screwdriver. Go with our little toolbox collection and that is going to wrap up today's video thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end if you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video comment four wheeler down in the comments it has been a roller coaster of a day it started out super nice then the sun came out and it got super hot and then we found a four wheeler and man we got a full trailer already it's been such a good day of magnificent anyways i appreciate y'all watching i will see y'all later peace